Please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Uh, Merabun, one more stock for you. Now, this is a bit of an erratic move on, on something like a Dhanalakshmi bank. Actually, banks, uh, some of the banks are all over the place today, particularly the ones exposed to Kerala. So, a lot of pressure, for instance, on Federal Bank, on South Indian Bank. Uh, how would you view some of these names? <coughs> I, don't, I don't follow, but uh, there has always been the case that when such an event happens, all companies financial institutions having exposure to that particular area are bound to get affected certainly in terms of sentiment which can also make a dent as far as their absolute valuations goes i think somewhere along the line federal bank uh, whose management came out of a very candid interview at least uh, on your channel this morning i think i would i would say that maybe around 75 77 78 levels if it comes because of something which looked very attractive otherwise from a little longer term play at 87 90 92 just a few days ago, if you give it to me at around 10-15% lower, I think I would term it as a bank opportunity. Okay, Merbun, uh, what about uh, a Kotak? Uh, you reckon it's corrected enough now? Uh, for the last two days, we've seen quite a bit of buying. I think Kotak along with Indescent and HGFC Bank has always been a part of my core portfolio as far as the entire banking space goes. I think the reasons were, were quite obvious, quite clear as to the stock having reacted and I think uh, every reaction I would honestly feel that it should be used as a buying opportunity for the longer term. So I don't have any reasons to be negative with the stock. And I feel I agree with you, Anush, that the correction which has happened should be used as an inducement to possibly buy a fresh in the stock. It's a different issue than the stock would correct by 2-3 percent because the, what has been a pain for this entire market has been that there are only 8 or 10 stocks which took the nifty up over the last 6 months and Kotak was one of them. So it is a distinct possibility the side market can start performing a little bit more outperform this frontline eight nine stock so okay, will quota go up in a hurry maybe not but at the end of it all at the present level with the correction which has happened if somebody is buying for the longer term i think one should go ahead with it before we let you go you know anuj and i were discussing this last week as well that this time the difference in this rally is that there is some mid-cap participation it's not just seven stocks on the nifty uh, any fresh ideas that might have crossed your mind or anything specifically that you liked in the earning season where you think a fresh buy is warranted I think uh, the six or seven, about eight companies which took the Nifty up, I think, uh, was a major concern for a lot of fund managers because questions were being asked, the Nifty is going up, the portfolios are pleading. So somewhere along the line, the side counters had to do the catch-up. And I don't belong to the camp at, at all, which believes that the mid-caps and small-caps were in bad shape because of the top 100 large-cap companies, 80 companies have given negative returns over the last six months. But the last 20, 25 days, some sort of sanity has prevailed. The side, side counters have caught up also. So I would say there could be still a lot of value buying, a lot of action, a lot of opportunities which could be there in the side counters. And if you are asking me to mention certain names, I would say Abharat Bijli, which is a company purely in transformers and with a power sector virtually now attracting attention. This is the company whose numbers were brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I think the stock has made a move post the numbers and I still believe there is a lot of value in the balance sheet. The company doesn't have any debt, a lot of investments in a company like Siemens. So I think even at the present level, I think there could be another room for at least 10 to 20 percent upside. Another name which attracted my attention is in the metal space and that is National Aluminium. Mm -hmm. I knew and the market knew that the numbers for the June quarter would be brilliant. But the numbers exceeded the expectations of the most ardent optimist. And while the second quarter people said would not would be a little bit muted, but what is happening as far as capacity goes, uh, alumina capacity with one of the plants abroad sh shutting down, I believe the second quarter should also be excellent. And with the government wanting money from this PSU companies, I will not be surprised if there is a very liberal dividend payout also mm -hmm. coming from National Aluminium. So I think at 68, that is another another stock. Which, uh, uh, which provides decent possibility of a 15 to 20 percent upside coming over the next one to three months. Okay, Mehrboon, we let you go on that note. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us uh, today. Pa